Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So today we will see a one more problem solving methodology in algorithms concept that is branch and bound. Branch and bound. So we will see what exactly this branch and bound and which type of problems can be solved by using this branch and bound and what are the characteristics of branch and bound and what are the applications that means which type of problems can be solved right so first let us see what is this branch and bound usually this can be represented as b b it's a branch and bound or b n b n stands for n branch and bound or b and b right so we can represent in any one of these forms okay and mainly this branch and bound is used to solve the optimization problems so it is used to solve optimization problems optimization problems so we have seen different category of problems among that we have seen the decision problems and the optimization problems so decision problems are nothing but all the feasible solutions right the problem which gives all the feasible solutions so backtracking is mainly used to find or solve the decision problems so in uh, apart from this optimal solution backtracking will find all the feasible solution with the help of state space tree and coming to this branch and bound so it is mainly used to solve these optimization problems already we have seen what is meant by this optimization problem that means a complex problem a complex problem can be divided see a pro complex problem can be divided into small sub problems small sub problems and each sub problem can be solved and we are going to find out the optimal solution so these solutions these solutions for sub problems can be solved by using a backtracking in this branch and bound okay this can be done by using a backtracking so we know that backtracking what is meant by backtracking so backtracking means so checking all the possibilities by using the state space tree so this depends on state space tree so what is meant by state space tree so state space tree is a tree structure which gives all possible paths so those paths may have a feasible solution or those possible may not have the feasible solution Right? So that is a state space tree. So this branch and bound will use all these things. But there is only one difference. Among these sub problems, the solutions for these sub problems, based upon the boundary levels, that means lower boundary and the upper boundary, we are supposed to eliminate or ignore the sub problem. And we have to find only the optimal solution. That means, so we need to find optimal solution so use it to find optimal solution that means the best solution so one problem may can have a multiple solutions one problem can have a multiple solutions among that we are supposed to select the optimal solution which is a best solution in order to find out that optimal solution we are going to draw the state space tree where we are having all possibility paths right and we are also using the backtracking so we are just expanding the nodes in the tree and if it doesn't lead to the feasible solution backtrack and go with the alternate path so that is called the backtracking so in this branch and bound we are going to use all these things so you can see branch and bound that means we are just drawing the state space tree that means a branching levels in terms of levels and then we are applying the bound that means a boundary levels <coughs> excuse me boundary levels lower boundary and upper boundary so based upon the lower and upper boundaries 
we are going to ignore some part, some sort of solutions which are not being executed or which are not useful to get the optimal solutions right so we are we are going to apply all these things so now what are the characteristics what are the characteristics of branch and bond the first one just now we have seen that is a backtracking so we are starting with one node just we are expanding that node okay and while expanding if it doesn't lead to the feasible solution we are just backtracking to the previous node and we are going with the alternate path so this is one characteristics of branch and bond so we are going to use this backtracking process and the next one pruning pruning is nothing but ignoring right so just now we have said so while creating the path so if there are any not feasible solutions we are going to ignore pruning means ignoring and the next one lower bound and upper bound so we will use some boundaries lower bound values and upper bound values in order to select or in order to get the optimal solution so if by applying this lower boundary and upper boundary if the solution the current solution or current path is not uh, viable to the feasible solution so obviously we'll prune it and we'll break and the last one is optimal solution so finally the result should be optimal solution so finding the optimal solution so finding the optimal solution with the help of lower boundary and upper boundary which are not feasible then just ignore it and backtrack with the alternate so these are the characteristics of branch and bound now we'll see the application that means where which kind of problems what are the problems we are supposed to solve by using the branch and bound so applications so the first one is a knapsack knapsack problem so already we have solved it and the same kind of problem we can solve using the branch and bound in order to get an efficient that means optimal solution and the next one a traveling sales person traveling sales person problem so the same thing we have already solved this one but this the same problem can also be solved by using this branch and bound to get the optimal solution similarly there are a few more like game playing game playing is one more uh, problem okay next n queens problem so whatever the applications we have done in this backtracking everything can be solved by using this branch and bound then what are the advantages what are the advantages of using this branch and bound one is first one is performance because it leads to the optimal solution the next one reduce reducing search trick that means a state space trick so it, it is not required to create the complete state space trick okay and the disadvantage only one disadvantage the complexity it is an exponential complexity so this branch and bound gives the exponential complexity exponential complexity the time complexity so this is a one drawback of using this branch and bound and one more thing this backtracking will be using or the backtracking methodology uses the depth first search so in our all our previous applications we have seen by while solving the problem we are just going with the depth first search okay depth first search but here in this branch and bound this these problems can be solved with the help of breadth first search not the depth first search so completion of one level then only it will move with the next level right so this is all about our branch and bound methodology so this is a one more important uh, problem solving methodology you have to learn in algorithms concept
So in our further sessions, we'll see the, the knapsack problem and the traveling salesperson problem, how we can solve by using this branch and bound methodology. That's fine. So let's stop here. So if you really understood my session, like my session and share my session with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.